Question 6. A proton in a particle accelerator is travelling at half the speed of light. How does its relativistic momentum compare to its classical momentum? So can you remember what these words mean? Relativistic and classical? Classical momentum is the momentum that you learned about back in year 11 when we were talking about P equals MV. Classical momentum says that momentum is pro uh, proportional to mass and proportional to velocity and that mass is constant and doesn't change. Relativistic momentum allows for mass dilation. In relativistic momentum we have to increase the mass uh, by a factor depending on the velocity. So let's go through our options. A proton does not have relativistic momentum. This is wrong. All objects have momentum, right? Uh, its relativistic momentum will be less, equal to, or more than its classical momentum. Now how does the mass change? Does it increase, decrease, or stay the same? Well that's right, of course it increases. So our answer is that its relativistic momentum will be more than its classical momentum. It'll be larger than Isaac Newton would expect. Question 7. Which option is correct? The relativistic length of an object is longer or shorter than its proper length. Now is it length dilation or length contraction? That's right, it's length contraction. That means the relativistic length is shorter than its proper length. Remember that the proper length of an object is the length of that object when it is not moving. It's also known as the rest length. Now the relativistic duration of an event is longer or shorter than the duration in the event's rest frame. So this has to do with duration or time. Now is it time dilation or time contraction? It is of course time dilation. So our answer here is that the duration of an event is longer than in the event's rest frame or proper time. Finally, the relativistic mass of an object is larger or smaller than its rest mass. Well, of course, it's mass dilation, right? So the relativistic mass must be larger than its rest mass.